sure. Okay. Hello, Riley. Hi, my name's Amina. I'm one of the doctors. I'm going to take a look at your tummy today. Is that okay? Is that okay with you, Mum? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I like your Mickey Mouse pyjamas. Where did you get those from? From that lady over there, did you? Okay, let's just have, I'm just going to start by having a look around the room, just trying to see if you've brought anything with you. No. Okay. Can I take a look at your hands? Oh, wow. Nice hands. And here. Oh, wow. Very lovely hands. Oh, and I can see lots of little scars here. Okay, good work. And just a little feel. Can you do something really funny? Can you put your hands up like this? And then say, stop the bus. Can you try and do it? Just put your hands out and put them back. Okay, don't worry about it. How about this? Can you point up and point down and stick your fingers together? Good work. Well done. Let me just do that. Let me just help you with that. Well done. Quick look. Well done. Good work. Okay, and I'd like to know his blood pressure at the end, please. Can I have a look at your eyes? Can you pull your eyelid down like that? Do a monster face. Rah! Lovely. Well done. And can you... That's enough. Thank you. Well, that's scary, isn't it? And can you open your big mouth like, ah, dinosaur. Well done, thank you very much. Good work. And I'm just going to have a little feel up here. Is it ticklish? Oh, well, stop. Don't you worry. Okay, lie down, please. I'm just going to make sure my hands are really warm. And can you straighten up your legs? Well done. I'm just going to have a quick look at your chest. Are you ticklish? I won't tickle you, don't you worry. Right, and take a look at your tummy. Just bring this down a little bit. Is that your skull there? That's very special. Do you have any pain in your tummy? No. And mum, you don't know him to be in pain at all, do you, at the moment? Okay. I'm just going to have a little feel of your tummy, okay? Boing, boing. Boing, boing. What have you had for lunch? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Mm -hmm. McDonald's. Yeah, me. And what did you have from there? Mm -hmm. Chicken nuggets? Yeah. Everyone's favourite. I'm just going to feel a little bit more. I think I can feel a chicken nugget in there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. One, only one. Who at the rest? <laughs> and did you have some milkshake? It's hot. Was it hot? Yeah. Okay, deep breaths. Deep breaths. Okay. Good work. And again. Well done. And again. Well done. And again. And again. Good work. And let me just tap here. You sound like a drum. Have you heard that? Well done. And again, a few deep breaths. Deep breaths. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Should we do the drum noise again? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Let's have a little feel here. And a little feel here. Okay. Usually I'd examine the hernial orifices. Would you like me to do that? Okay. I'm just going to look, I'm just going to have a listen to your tummy now, see if we can hear those chicken nuggets. Okay, 
Thank you. And the last thing I want to do is have a little look at your ankles, if that's all right, okay? What are these? Are these minion socks? Do you like the minions? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for asking me to examine Riley, who's a three-year-old boy. On examination today, um, he appeared to be comfortable at rest. He did not have any signs of any respiratory distress, and he appeared to be well. Um, he appeared to be uh, well-grown for his age. However, I'd like to plot him on an appropriate growth chart for height and weight. Um, I undertook a gastrointestinal examination. He did not have any um, clubbing. He did not have any peripheral stigmata of chronic liver disease. He did not have any conjunctival pallor and uh, no oral ulceration. On examination of his um, abdomen, I noticed that he had a large transverse scar across his abdomen um, and also some a smaller um, scars, around, uh, one smaller scar around this, which may either be from a previous abdominal drain or from a gastrostomy tube or a stoma um, insertion. I'd need to take a full history from mum to find out what these were from. He didn't have any hepatomegaly or splenomegaly, and his bowel sounds were um, quiet but normal. Um, he did not have any uh, uh, pitting edema of the ankles. So in summary, this is a three-year-old boy who has um, a transverse abdominal scar. Great. Thank you. You mentioned that he had a transverse abdominal scar, so why might um, so this abdominal scar, it could be consistent with a um, liver transplant. However, it is slightly lower down than I'd expect for a classical rooftop incision for a liver transplant. The other differential diagnosis would be any sort of complex abdominal surgery or any abdominal surgery su such as for malrotation or volvulus or for necrotizing enterocolitis. And I also noticed that on his hands, he had multiple previous cannulation scars, which fits in with him having had um, prolonged hospital admission. And you mentioned necrotizing enterocolitis as a possible cause for a scar like um, What complications do you have with necrotizing enterocolitis? So with necrotizing enterocolitis, you can, um, the complications include sepsis, um, perforation. Um, you can sometimes get strictures and adhesions. And if um, bowel resection is required um, and large amounts of bowel are removed, you can end up with short gut syndrome, which will lead to problems with um, malnutrition, uh, vitamin deficiencies, and maybe even a high output bowel. Thank you very much. That's the end of the update. Great. Thank you. Thanks.